And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. By the way, I saw your movie, and some of the choices you've made were, um, uh, intriguing. That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So other than this fantastic, I have no choice but to eat at lunch. Why am I here? I asked you to meet with me because I need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history. Kurt Angle, The Big Show, Steve Austin. Don't forget Brock Lesnar! But before you go any further, let's just get one thing straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. I don't want an advocate. I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So how do I earn the respect of everyone in the locker room? How do I reach the heights the legends you guided reached and build a career that's Hall of Fame worthy? I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. And yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul, I'm, I'm serious. And so am I, dead serious. Just look at what a victory over The Undertaker did for my client, Barack Lesnar. If you want that type of prestige, there's only one way to get it. But no one's seen The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to, you can still find him. But I personally don't recommend it. Come on, you've had your success. The WWE Universe admires you, although there's no accounting for taste. Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have? Your well-being, your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. Red, it's been a pleasure, and Trey, well, despite my better judgment, I wish you luck. Kind of creepy here late at night. Did you know some arenas are supposedly haunted? Really? Yeah. This one time after your match, all I heard was BOO! Assuming you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find The Undertaker? He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guy's running late. Did you hear that? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I don't know. Seriously? You want to take on The Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go.
I can't really see much, can you? No, so we should probably try again some other time. I mean, technically the Undertaker's dead, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Wait. I think I just saw something move. Hello? Are you sure about this? Come on, it'll be fine. It's, it's not too late to turn back. Are you here to meet with us about finding the Undertaker? I swear, I saw someone down there. Did you see a light switch anywhere? No. I should have never gotten myself into this. Yeah, it was your idea. I can't believe mankind used to hang out down here. I'm gonna head back up and try to call Heyman. Ah! Papa Shango? Well, this is unexpected, but I guess you'd need someone with supernatural powers to track down the dead man. Ask him to help. Um... Mr. Shango, apparently we have a mutual friend in Paul Heyman who said you could help me find the Undertaker? I don't think he's going to talk. Clearly. So, uh, how do we go about finding Taker? You want us to get inside the furnace? No, furnaces are hot. So maybe he's saying we're warm. Like we're close to finding the Undertaker. This is exciting! <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait! I think he's trying to tell us something. What was that? It's in my eyes. I don't know, but it kind of has a lemony flavor. Not bad. You're eating it? Cool. Um, what the hell is that? I think it's some kind of portal. There's no way I'm going in a portal. If you want to become immortal, you have to go through the portal. See? It even rhymes. And besides, you're always telling me I need to loosen up and be more open-minded. So maybe you need to take your own advice for once. The last time I said that I was trying to get you to try pineapple on your pizza, not cross over into the netherworld. It looks like it's starting to close. Make a decision. <clears throat> Fine. Hey, wait! Papa Shango, no! Well, that's just great. Now we don't even have our voodoo mime guide. Are you smiling? I told you not to eat that dust. Hey, snap out of it! What was that for? Ow, that was way harder than my slap. I was just trying to wake you up. I don't think we're asleep. Then what is this place? Did you hear that? From now on, let's just assume I hear everything you hear, okay? Look. It's Kane! This is awesome! Maybe you can help my friend. He's trying to find your brother, and we lost our guide. Not cool! Look out!
Trey? Trey! It's all right, Trey. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. Are those fireworks? Weird. That's what you think is weird about all this? Maybe we're supposed to use these to signal for help. Who's gonna help us here? No idea, but either way, we'll get to see some cool fireworks. Oh, it's like the 4th of July. Yeah, except I just barbecued Kane. I think it worked. Something's coming. How do we know it's a good something? Hey! Help! Wait, is that... Yes! Yes! I was sailing around the ocean of reincarnation when I was summoned by the works of fire in the sky. Can you help us? I set out to find the Undertaker, but I'd be happy now to just make it home alive. Step aboard, Skarsgård, and I will do my best to guide you on your wonderful journey. But for it to be truly over, you must delete the Demon of Death Valley that you speak of. Come on. This is our best and only option. You don't have any more of that Shango dust, do you? I wish. <laughs> 